Getting one step closer, let's try and get this dual oil pump installed. <music> Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to try and install this dual oil pump onto the front of the AeroV engine. Uh, get your primary oil pump, which I believe is the uh, primary oil pump for the engine itself, and then the secondary oil pump I believe scavenges uh, the oil back from the uh, turbo on the engine. So. Pretty straightforward installation, not a whole lot you need to be concerned about other than making thing, making sure that things are lubricated properly and uh, aligned properly. And from what I understand, and I've already looked inside, there's a couple of small pins that hold the two pumps together in a proper orientation. So you need to be careful not to lose those pins. Other than that, I think it's uh, pretty straightforward. I just had those in there for alignment. One fell out, so. All right, and just the mounting bolts there. And you got the top cover. You got the top cover's gasket. Then secondary gear to the turbo pump. And then this is where it gets a little tricky. The turbo oil pump, the pin stayed in that part this time, and there is a paper gasket there. Now the, hold on, I want to hold these pins in place. Uh, the main drive is driven off of the front of the cam in the engine, and this gear doesn't come out or come out easily. I don't want to try and force it, so I don't know if it was pressed in or if it's a key set or a key seated or something, but um, I wanted to take it out so that I could lube the gears really well with the lithium grease, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult now. So I'm going to remove these two pins and put them in a very safe place. Take the secondary gasket off and uh, yeah I don't think that gear is going to come out. I've already tried. I think it's uh, was mounted there from the factory so without pressing it out and we certainly don't want to do that. So lubricating the gears is going to be a little trickier than I would like it to but uh, Let's get started. Let's go. First thing I want to do is to install the paper gasket onto the engine block here. And they say just to coat it with a little bit of engine oil. So I've got a the cap off of the motor oil filled with motor oil here on my work surface and uh, just gonna work my way around and get the paper gasket saturated with the motor oil. Okay, that's good. Gaskets in place. Now I've already applied some white lithium grease down into the slot in the front of the cam here. And the next job would be to put the main pump housing in. That is going to be just a little bit of a 
snug fit. Okay, lined with the gaskets. A little wiggle room for adjustment later. Then the next step is going to be to grease these gears. This is uh, not going to be easy, but uh, I'll make the best of it. I'm just going to go one tooth at a time here around the primary drive gear for the turbo cooler because that cannot be removed for this process. I get a little more grease on my finger. Just want to make sure all the gear surfaces are greased well in there. That would be the hardest one because it's sitting down in the housing. Um, everything else should be a little bit easier. Okay. I looked around to see if I had a small brush to be able to get this down in the gears a little more reliably, but uh, I couldn't find one handy. I'm going to have to put that on my shopping list to pick up some of those parts brushes. Uh, and the uh, the key that uh, rides in the front of the cam slot. It all the mating surfaces properly coated and I'm just gonna wipe the excess off the decking and let's see install the two alignment pins Paper gasket number two for the, or which is the, would be the cover gasket for the primary oil pump, but uh, seeing how we're doing two, this is an intermediary gasket that's going to go between the primary oil pump and the uh, turbos oil pump. Same thing, just getting a uh, good coat of the actual motor oil that we're going to be using in the aircraft on the gasket. That's covered well. Now I need to make sure this is aligned properly. Basically making sure that the uh, this little cutout in the gasket aligns with the uh, similar pocket in the oil pump itself. So gasket number two is installed. Now this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to uh, drop this main oil pump down in while aligning with the two alignment pins and oops Almost a major mistake there. <laughs> All right. Can't forget the driven gear. I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's get a good amount of lithium grease on these surfaces. really can't grease that shaft without some sort of a brush, but I can 
make sure I've got a good amount of grease on the internal part of the gear. As I slide it down, I can rotate it around. I can get grease as far down along the shaft as I can. And that should work perfect. Now the tricky part. Let's see. I want to guesstimate the main keys angle first, and then I'm going to Gently try and rotate the driven gear so that aligns. And all right, that went easier than I thought it would. Everything's flush, seated as it should be. Okay, driven gear number two, that's for the oil pump for the turbo. This would be a lot easier with one of those little part brushes. A lot less messy too, but the little kid in me doesn't mind getting messy. All right, so. I may want to lift that out again. I want to get a little more grease on the shaft. So let's see if I can't possibly make that happen. Strong magnet would be nice right about now, but uh, I mean, there was some grease on there. It's probably fine. I've got the mating surfaces all greased. And after all, it is an oil pump, so shortly after starting, the whole cavity's filled with oil. Not going to stress over it. And let's see. Yeah, can't do that right now. All right. Focus, Mark. Stay on task. Last gasket. And coat it well with the motor oil. Aligned with the holes and our cover plate. That one started nicely. Let's 
I should go down and get my, my speed wrench, but there's only four of them. Man. All right, I already got my torque wrench set to 14 pounds. This is the torque wrench I don't trust 100%, so just for fun, let's try the big one. Work everything twice. All right, that should be it. One of the quicker, easier tasks in the engine assembly. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to get something done without any major hiccups or problems. So, anyways. If you like what I'm doing with these videos, if you want to follow along with the project, be sure to uh, hit the like button. That makes YouTube happy. Subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends. I really do appreciate you all, your comments, your help uh, at all times. So uh, feel free to jump in the comments below, list any questions you have or suggestions you have. And I, I check those pretty constantly. So thanks for watching.